Welcome back to the show, everyone. In the last episode, actually, before I get started on concerning the last episode, near the end, I mentioned that this game makes me a little tired, and I've been trying to figure out why, because whenever I do the show for you guys, no matter what game I'm playing, I always try to bring some bit of energy, even if it's kind of a calming game. So every time that I uh, critique myself, because I am my own harshest critic, I try to figure out what has gone wrong and how to fix it. And I think it's not only a combination of having this weird disconnect with this game, but Minecraft story mode has always made me sleepy. And whenever I've reviewed the footage, I've noticed that the music tends to put me asleep because even during the action scenes, it's very muted and basic and quiet and gentle. Like there's no fist pumping, the heart beating drums and intense violin sets or other. it's just it's always kind of quiet so oh excuse me between that and the fact that i'm actually getting over a cold of some sort and the fact that i'm very tired and didn't get my sleep i think it's all contributing to the fact that i can't exactly bring my a game for this one so hopefully my b plus game is good enough because i am really exhausted but you guys deserve videos so i'm kind of powering through this snoozy pyro very snoozy pyro. After we're done, I will probably cuddle with my stuffed Articuno and pass right the hell out. But at the end of the last episode, Jesse and company got a some sort of special flint and steel, and somebody has come along and uh, found them. So let's see what this gentleman has to say. <laughs> Looks a little uh, sophisticated for you. Jesse. Is that one of the one of the losers? Yeah. Losers. Is he one of the ocelots? I don't think uh, so. Who let you guys out of your cave? Yeah, Aiden it's, it's Aiden and the Pussycats. Shut up, you idiot. Well, well, well. If it isn't Aiden and the Pussycats. That's not our name. So what are you <laughs> ocelots doing? Oh, they are the ocelots. Yep. Where's ocelots Lucas? Ocelots for Lucas's gang. We ditched that name just like we ditched him. Thanks yeah, for the we're exposition. <laughs> we're the Blaze Rods now. The Blaze Rods? Up, it's actually kind of a cool name, actually. I like it. Yeah. Pretty cool name. And I like the design on the back of their jackets. I don't give a crap about what you think. Hey, this is a kid-friendly Where's game Lucas, world. Huh? Don't say the words like the crap. Decided you were cool, you fucking twat. Reason. You wouldn't stop sniffing around you like a tame dog. You take that back. Mm, no. Hey, Lucas is a hero, Lucas unlike you. Times the guy you are. Yeah, Lucas is a hero, which is more than I can say for any of you creeps. You probably think that thing makes you so special. Classic Jesse. You take all the best stuff and never give anyone else a chance. That should have been ours. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hey, we, we earned, earned this. this. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I let that one go for a second. I went, this, all right? wanted to hear if they said Fair anything else. <laughs> yeah, we fought monsters, <laughs> lava, me. and levers to get this thing, and we ain't giving it up. <laughs> Nothing you've ever done has been fair and square, Jesse. You don't know shit, buddy. Where were you during the weather storm? Hand over uh. the flint and steel, Jesse. Don't make me ask again. You don't get that one. It's supposed uh. to be a sword. Haven't you? Yeah, we're not enough? standing down from these guys. <gasps> Some hero you are, Jesse. Did you forget what we accomplished? You do. What hope do we have when heroes like you are throwing your weight around like this? It's not always going to be this way, though. Come on, you guys. Let's get out of here. What a dick. <laughs> Ooh, I told you to <laughs> shut up. <laughs> okay, Look I want to keep that Jesse. guy, but yeah, Aiden can I go die in a fire. That angry before. He's really losing it. Wow, us being the new order of the stone is really getting to that guy. He's gone crazy. We should be careful. He seems different, scarier, angrier, more like. All because he wanted that flint and steel. What are you gonna do with it? I don't know yet. the one that told us about this. Yeah, let's figure out how it works. Might know yes. About it. Whatever it is, it's powerful, and I'm gonna figure out what it does. I mean, let's not make plans concerning it when we don't even know what the hell it is. Yeah. Beautiful temple. You know what the temple was missing? Ruben. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
No. Uh, anyway, enough of that nonsense. That stuff again. Feels good to almost be home. Cheers to that, friend. I just can't shake what Aiden was saying about us back there. We do get a lot of treasure. And I guess sometimes we might throw our weight around. What? No. Aiden's got a bad case of treasure envy. Pure and It's simple. not our fault we're yeah. awesome. No, he's just jealous. Come on, okay. Aiden's just jealous. Isn't that obvious? He sees us with our fancy armor, cool treasure, and he wishes he had it too. Oh. I guess so. Oh yeah, wasn't that Ruben's thing? Baby. Memorial? Well, oh god. No matter what Aiden thinks, there's one thing I know. What's that? They think we're awesome. They're back! You guys, they're back! Run! Tell everyone that our heroes have returned! Wow, that sounds fake. It really does. That sounded incredibly facetious. Uh. <laughs> yeah, new order of the stone is back in town. Yay! Trigger the boys are back in town. Uh, only if I want to get sued for content ID. Yeah. Or copyright strikes. This place looks amazing. Yeah, except for Ruben's tomb. With this place. It looks freaking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hi. Oh. Uh, eh. See that? Jesse high five me. Me. Wow. You know, it actually I hurt a little bit. Wow. Probably don't want to say this, but wow. I want to affect the fan that much. I want to give some a cute girl a high five that, that makes her faint. Happy to see a screen. Wow, that's new. It somehow manages it's to It's awesome. Calls and tentacles while still doing the whole barfing lava thing <laughs> but it's awesome wow that is one epic build with the lava yeah yeah and the skull motif awesome i will awesome. understand your taste it's so cool uh is that ivor is that ivor's voice you're whining yep pathetic injuries in comparison to my majestic tower ivor Oh, Jesse, you're back! Don't listen to a word these fools tell you. It's a fire hazard! And your face is an ugly hazard! But it's so too cool, keep even. it. Man, Ivor, this is really cool. Why, thank you, Jesse. Let's just put some so cobble around the fire bit so people don't burn vision. themselves. Jesse, seriously? You can't let him keep this up! It's too awesome! Screw all you people! It's what any man wants. A little house of my own! With loads of lava pouring off it. Ivor, Ivor I, I have completely you know, come around to you. Wants to kill people. Dude, you <laughs> made a killer house. Exactly. Can't killer. we move it somewhere? No, he should be Sorry, free to build. But Ivor's right. People have got to be free to build. But that's so oh. irresponsible. <laughs> that is not irresponsible. <laughs> that's it freedom. Is. At least we can't let that monstrosity stand. <laughs> At least pull up the lava and then. <laughs> It's my house, Jesse. Leave it I alone. We are not tearing that shit down. It's too cool. I too cool. I've obviously put a lot of work into his new house, and we need to show it the same respect that we would show a house not dripping with lava. Leave it. <laughs> I'm sure we can find a way to work around it, okay? Long live my lava house. Long live lava. Thanks, Jesse. Uh, That's maybe I should have regretted this. Keep walking! <laughs> Always nice to see a gracious winner. Ha ha. Pull up the lava, it. build a pit, and then Can set it off Jesse? and fence it. That's how you do lava streams. Uh, I was hoping you could help Actually, me. We have a thing. I was hoping you could help me with something. We found something out in the jungle. What? You did? <laughs> yes. Great to see you again. Let's do lunch. I'll bring the carrots. There's no telling who's listening. Meet me in the Stranger danger, buddy. And bring the thing you found. Ah. Uh, scary. God, her armor well, is so cool. If we're going to keep that thing up, we should at least encase the lava in some glass to make it safe. Yeah, see? But That's a good idea. Not too safe. Exactly. On, help me collect some sand. And you can make sure that when we make it into glass, it's the right amount of safe. Okay. 
That's an excellent we'll idea. See? Yeah, we'll Everything is going sure to work fine. Nice work today, guys. It deserves. Nice work today, guys. Yeah, not bad, right? Mm, it's like we should do this more often or something. <laughs> Come on. Let's go find Ivor. Ah. <sighs> All's well that ends well, because I'm sure that won't cut, that decision won't come back to bite us in the ass. Wow, this place is really shaping up. We never did anything like that, did we? We never built a museum for our awesomeness. Yeah. I was too much of a practical builder. I never did anything cool like this. Same here. Plus, I never played in creative, so I never had Lucas, resources no! to do it. Lucas, I don't believe it. Oh, <laughs> nice hey goggles. Guys, you have some pretty cool stuff in here. Great to see you, Lucas. Crazy stuff. Hey, Lucas. Great to see you. It's been a while. I really missed you guys. Well, we missed you, too. We have so many other treasures. Boy, you've sure been busy. Oh, wow. You framed it. I'm him. Uh, oh, God. Yeah. Don't make me cry. What are you doing? I still miss him. Oh, yeah. God. I really, really miss him. Every morning I wake up and just for a minute I can pretend that he's just in another room or rooting around outside looking for carrots. Oh, God. I get to remember all over that he's gone. That is the worst so shit. Like, that is a legit horrible feeling. I lost my, uh, I had a cat. My my kitty was 20 years old, and I had him for basically all 20 of those years. And his death was four, three and a half years ago at this point. And, like, you know, with that much time that passed, it doesn't really hurt anymore. But the worst times that it still hurts me is when he's in my dreams, and then I have to wake up, and as Jesse said, I lose him again. Anyone who's dealt with loss knows exactly what that feels like, and it sucks. It's bad enough losing someone, a friend, a pet, a whatever, once. It's worse to lose them over and over again for a goddamn week. Yep. Sad face. It's anyway. like one of our neighbors said, like, once you feel lost, people who say time heals all wounds haven't lost a damn thing. Whoa, which neighbor said that? Pete? Uh, no. Oh. Our building manager. Oh. Ah, that's very sweet. Well, yeah, she lost her husband, what, seven, eight years ago? Yep. I mean, you're not going to get over something like that. Nope. But, uh, by the way, did you see that one of the options I could have picked for his question was, I haven't thought about him? Anyone who picks that option should immediately be kicked out of the game and forced to write an apology letter to Ruben's memory. Empathy training, Clockwork Orange style. Exactly. All right, back to the story. And our sadness. Okay, guys. I promise I wasn't just here to bum everybody out. I actually Same here. Because I, I was not here to bum everybody out. It's about this weird run-in I had with Aiden. You too, huh? Oh, I hate that guy. Whatever you said or did, it really got to him. Uh-huh. We saw him too. The Order of the Stone and the Blaze Rods are just <laughs> as friendly as ever. That's an understatement. He's just been so jealous of you and the rest of the Order ever since you saved the world from the Witherstorm. He's convinced that he was supposed to be a hero. Ever since Who he is he? Neville awesome Longbottom? He doesn't rods. scare me. It just seems why like is he jealous? No, he doesn't. Yeah, I'm, I'm, why is he jealous? No. Aiden's a stupid bully. He doesn't scare me. I'm being yeah, that's what I meaner. Used to say too. But he's been freaking me out lately. He got super aggressive. He demanded to know what treasure you were after next. So what'd you find that got Aiden so excited anyway? Hmm. Check it out. Wow. What a weird glow. We can't trust yeah. Lucas, right? He's not going to yeah. go blabbering to the blaze rods. <laughs> Dude! Jesus, Ivor. This is the greatest find of our time. Is it? I can't believe you're actually... Okay, Spill. What's it do? It proves what I've always suspected. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Hmm. Yeah. So that was their... Right. Yeah. No, what does it do? Right. So, 
What's the flint and steel do then? Uh, not a hundred percent sure, actually. <laughs> I suspect that it's related to the exciting part. You see, if these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer to finding the Ever Source. What a beautiful sight! Looks like uh, you came back just in time. What? For this. Yeah. I'll pick that once uh, I. Full artifacts, huh? The Ever what? Sometimes I let the, the timer Eversource. go to the end so I can hear you, all their uh, blathering. Can I actually explain it any more than that? The Ever Source is said to be an object of incredible power possessed by the old builders. It was some sort of treasure or artifact that gave them an endless supply of precious materials. Think about it, Jesse. Unlimited diamonds? That must have been its hiding place. Wow. Old builders? Are you sure That's it's there? Every day. Yeah. I'm still just trying to wrap my head around the Eversource. Okay, so this flint and steel might have this old builder enchantment. But how do you know that's where this Eversource thing is? I've traveled near and far, Jesse. And that temple, that flint and steel, is the only firm proof that I've ever seen of the old builders. That does seem like a pretty good bet. Old builders, ever sources, ancient mysteries. You know I'm in. Me too. Excellent. I'll pack my adventuring things immediately. Wait. Uh, he's coming? There's well, at least like what? Never mind. I was going to go I, uh, a little blue on that joke. I'm going to nope. not. You're coming with. Yay! Need a buffer between me and Ivor. Let's what the hell am I? Neat. All right. Well, we're going to go adventuring and hopefully find this ever source in the next episode. I kind of see what you meant in the last episode about it being kind of jumpy. I think that's just how the weird, how they compensated for dialogue changes and such. Yes. Although for me, it's forgivable when it's dialogue because it's dialogue. And I get that. It's really disconcerting when it's action sequences. Like, I have a I have a little tip for all of you budding film directors out there. There's, uh, try to visualize this because I'm not gonna friggin' put it up on the screen or anything. But when you are shooting a car chase, if the cars are moving from light right to left, and then you do a smash cut to something else. When you smash cut back, they have to still be moving right to left. Because if they're not, then you're going to just confuse the hell out of the viewer. Because now the cars are moving in a whole different direction and you have to try to wrap your head around it. If you're going to change the direction of the cars, you have to show the direction of the cars changing. Then you can smash cut away again and smash cut back. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So, with a lot of the Telltale games, when they do their action set pieces... What you do is you have, like, one set piece, and then you smash cut to a different camera angle, and then you smash cut back, and it's this weird disconnect because it doesn't seem to flow smoothly. And I don't know... I, I don't know if it's been specific to this game, or if it's been done with all the Telltale's games, and I just haven't noticed it for some reason, but I do know, like, in The Wolf Among Us, when they had the, um... Uh, when when the wolf fought, oh god, what was the giant lady thing he killed uh, in the last episode in the I boiler? know he killed Bloody Mary, I think. That could have been it. But like, so during that fight, there were a lot of those odd cuts because of how much stuff there was everywhere. And then, it, but it never seemed to get as bad as it has in this game. So, again, I don't know if it's Telltale. I don't know if it's because there's a direct, different team. I don't know if it's this game specifically. Whatever it is, that disconcertingness of it, disconcerted shit, whatever. Because of its how disconcerting it is, it kind of makes me brain tired. It, it, it's hard for me to follow the story sometimes, the action scene, and then therefore it kind of messes with me. Yeah, there's also a trick you can do when you're shooting different scenes and smash cutting around. When you have a point of action that the audience is looking at, you want to take the point that their eyes will follow, and then in your next smash cut, the action needs to be in that exact point. Yeah. And I'm not entirely sure this game's direction is doing that. Is my issue. Yeah. Let's anyway, see. I'm going to end the episode since you're making a lot of noise opening an envelope for no reason during the actual recording of the show. So thanks for watching, everyone. 
and we will see you tomorrow for another episode. Aren't I the worst? No, Pyro's the worst for these goddamn cliffhangers. <laughs>